The reason I started this lab is because I had been the customer and I had felt the enormous frustration of manufacturers and engineers saying, you really don't belong here. You don't understand the jargon. You don't know how to use the machines. We don't know what to do with you. And we don't really want you to be a customer until you're ordering 10,000 units. My name is Justin Eugene Evans. I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. I've been an inventor and a tech entrepreneur for about 12 years. We are a technology company that is dedicated to building the solutions that will make our world better and more democratic. And the first product happens to be our own factory. We'd looked at several places in North America and Europe. When I got off the plane here in Cape Town, I fell in love with it. Cape Town is in the early stages of becoming the Silicon Valley of Africa. It's a phenomenal place to start a tech company. We began remodeling our first creative lab in August of 2022. It's a 650 square meter space here in Cape Town, South Africa. We're nearly finished. We'll be ready for our first customers in about four weeks. When a customer walks through our doors and says, look, I don't have any background in engineering or machining. I got a crazy idea for something, but I don't understand mass manufacturing. Can you help me? Our answer is yes. This facility is for everybody from optometrists, restaurateurs, tech entrepreneurs, engineering students, people within the mining industry, someone who's restoring their car, anybody who's got a broken component and they're tired of having to ship it to some other part of the world in order for it to get fixed. This is the space for them. The facility is specifically designed for non-engineers to be able to come in bring their ideas in and our engineers and artists work with them to sketch it up, turn it into a digital model, and then we hit print. We've got the ability to make it and we've got the ability to walk you through the process of how to scale it up. The biggest difference between our facility and everybody else's facility is that we are trying to reconceive what the industrial revolution is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be about big stinky factories that run on diesel and on a national power grid. We're independent of all that. Here at Evans Works, we've got 55 kilowatts of solar on the roof, and that means our power doesn't go out. We've got a battery backup that ensures that our machines are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And whatever problems there may be with the national power grid are completely and totally irrelevant to how we do business. We've really turned it into a magical space. There's this massive mural that wraps all the way around the creative lab. The mural is the story of the last 200 years of invention, both in the sciences and the traditional arts. And so you'll see everybody from the Wright siblings to George Lucas, to Prince, to Einstein, looking down upon you as you work on your crazy stuff. There is a level of storytelling here that reminds us of the journey that we're on. And the journey of this space is to make sure that this is where the most creative people in the world can come to and their crazy ideas can come to life. If you are an optometrist and want to come out with your own eyewear, you're a restaurateur and you want to come out with your own silverware, you're an inventor and you've got an idea for a gadget, you're a student, there is a space for you. But when you walk in the front door, everybody wants to help you. All of our facilities are available to you and you know that the machines that are being operated in the back can do absolutely anything that you need it to do. That's what Evans Works is all about.